Now, for x plus 2y equals 900, if we let x be 0, then will be 2y equals 900, divided by 2 on both sides, then y will be 450. So 0, 450. 0 for x, y is 450. Okay. So 400 is here, 450 is right in between those two points. That's 450. So 0, 450, this point, is on the line. Now if you let y be 0, 2 times y will be 0, if you let y be 0. Then the equation comes to be x equals 900. So y is 0, x is 900. Okay, 900, 0. That will be this point, 900, 0. And then you connect it. Yeah, 0, 450, and this point, 900, 0. And you have that. Again, if you plug in origin, 0, 0, x is 0, y is 0 right here. x is 0, y is 0. So 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0. That's less than 900. So uh, the region containing origin 0, 0, this side of the line, should be marked. Okay. Okay. Then we have the sense is that this will be the, this region will be the shaded region, is what we needed. Okay. Yeah. Right here. After we shed, we know the region. From the picture, you can find out 500 zero yeah, is uh, one of the point on the corner, and here is 500 ten, uh, 500 100, this point. Okay. And here is one, two, three, so 300, 300. This point is a one of the corner point, and this point x is one unit, so one hundred, four hundred, one two three four. This corner point, and this point will be zero, four hundred. Okay, so we are done with step one, find out the equation, and also find out the. Uh, shaded region. Step two, we can find out the maximum profit. Okay. This is the profit equation. Two minus one, okay, sell two dollars, cost two, uh, sell three dollars, cost two dollars. Three minus one is one. One times x is just x. Sell Five dollars fifty cents by four dollars, so that's one dollars fifty for the profit. Okay, times y. This is the profit function. So we want to maximize this p. Okay. Now, here are the steps. We know we need to. Plug in all the corner points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six corner points. One, two, three, four, five. Zero I didn't plug in. Ah, because you plug in zero here, then you got zero. So we only need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And to see which one is the biggest one. Let's look at the first one. Zero four hundred. This point. 0, 400, this point. x is 0, y is 400. So 400 times 1.5 is 600. We have tested the first corner point. The second corner point is 100, 400. That's this one. Okay. 100, 400, x is 100. Y is 400. 400 times 1.5, we have it here, is 600. Add 100, so that's 700. 
Uh, this one looks bigger than that. So probably it's 100, 400 at this point. But you know we have a 300, 300, the third corner point. Uh, X is 300 and then plus 1.5 times 300 right here, plug in 300. 300 times 1.5 is 450. Plus 300, we have 750. Okay. Okay, so it might be this point, 300, 300. But we need to check two more points. This point is 500, 100. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 500. And then one unit, so 100. Okay, now. X is 500, plug in here, 500 plus 1.5 times 100. 1.5 times 100 is 50, uh, 150. 150 plus 500 is 650. So it's smaller than that. The last testing point is 500, 0, this point. X is 500, plug in plus 1.5 times 0. So 0 times 1.5 is 0. And then plus 500. So it's 500. After we are done with all the testing points, right here, then we find out this one is the largest one. So at which point the profit can be maximized, that should be when x is 300, and y is also 300, because this is the biggest one among all those five numbers. Then here, by testing all those points, we find out x must be 300, and y must be 302. Okay? And the maximum profit is $750. Then we would answer the maximum profit is 750. So we are done with the second step, and we have found the number uh, of bags for X and the number of bags for Y and the maximum profit. Okay. So only in two steps. Actually, step one, uh, there are two things right here. One is to find out inequality. Yeah, and concurrently find out the profit. So we find out in a quality system and equation first. And then right here we got to sketch the picture. Yeah. Yeah, and find out all those corner points. That's critical. Yeah. Yeah, there are some details right here. For example, how do we know this is 300, 300? From the picture, it's clear to see, but sometimes we don't have this nice picture. You got to find out the intersection between x plus y equals 600, that's this line, and this line, which is x plus 2y equals 900. You find out the solution of these two equations, it will end up with 300, 300. Okay, so solve for the system of equations. Okay, why do we need to only test the corner points? Uh, we will use another lecture. Okay, right now here, uh, I just want to do some initial steps, then we will sp uh, switch to another lecture. Look, we want to maximize P, P equals X plus 1.5. Let's solve for Y, okay, solve for Y. Why do we need to do that? You will see in ne next lecture, okay. Uh, to solve for y, both sides minus x means to isolate y. If you minus x on both sides, 
positive and negative x cancel each other. So you have a p minus x on the left hand side. So p minus x I wrote here in red. And the left right hand side is 1.5y. So I wrote like 1.5y right here. So 1.5y equals p minus x. Okay, 1.5y, these two cancel each other, equals p minus x. That's right here. So 1.5y equals p minus x. Now we know 1.5y is 3 divided by 2. That's 3 halves for the coefficient of y. You know, in front of p and x, there is a nothing, means 1. Ah, means 1. In order to isolate y, here is 3 halves. So then we need to do is times 2 thirds on both sides. Because if we times 2 thirds, numerator 2 cancels denominator 2. And numerator 3 right here cancels denominator 3. So we get 1. 1 times y is y. So that's y on the left hand side. Right hand side, 2 thirds times p is. 2 thirds times p is 2 thirds p. Okay. And then negative x times 2 thirds is negative 2 thirds x. Okay. I like to put uh, x at the front and then p follows that. So y equals negative 2 thirds from here, x plus positive two-thirds p. Remember, what we need is to maximize p, then this is the equation of the linear function. Okay? And then, if p needs to be maximized, it's actually the intercept of y. If you remember, the constant right here is the intercept of y. What are this intercept needs to be maximized. Okay, remember what we got here is 750. Okay, so actually we found out that. But you know, in the following lecture, in order to maximize P, we basically need is to maximize this Y intercept. With what? With the negative 2 over 3 as a slope. Okay, with this one, different P has different intercept. But this p, if p is a maximal number, then two thirds times p will be the maximal intercept. So next time, in the following lecture, we'll pick up from here. Okay, I'll see you in next lecture.